Hello and welcome back to Console Cowboys. Today we're going to take a look at integer overflows and underflows in Ethereum smart contracts. We're going to break apart a bunch of code samples and see how they work, see how to use them to bypass restrictions or extract unintended funds from the smart contract. This will primarily be code review focused with a bit of coding. With Live Labs, you can follow along. That being said, if you don't like code, you won't like this video. So you might want to pass on this series. If you remember back to your computer science days, there's different types of numbers. And each of those types of numbers will hold a maximum or minimum value. Some can hold negative numbers. Some can't hold negative numbers via unsigned or signed numbers. So in solidity, a int value, um, or uint value rather, can hold positive numbers up to a certain amount. Now, if you go over that amount, it wraps back to zero. If you go under that amount, there is no negative value, so it goes to the highest value. So it just wraps in a circle. If you look at the screen here, you'll see if we had a two-digit number, 00, 0 through 99, those are the maximum values that it can hold. So if we take 99 and we add 1, normally we would have 100, but since a two-digit value in this example can only hold up to 99, when we hit 100, we wrap around and our value is now actually back to 0, 0. Inversely, if we had the value of 0, 0 and we minused 1 off of that, since there are no negative numbers, we're going to wrap back to the highest value, which is going to be 99 in this example. Now, obviously, in reality, we're using much larger numbers, but this is much easier to visualize in this example. You can think of different ways that this may be applicable. One good example would be a withdrawal action. So if we do a require statement that says our balance minus our withdrawal amount needs to be larger than zero, which makes sense. We have to have enough money in order to withdraw. So if our withdrawal amount is, say, 5 and our balance is 3, we now have a 98 is greater than zero, which is true. So in this case, we would pass the test even though we don't have enough money to actually withdraw because there are no negative numbers and we now have a positive high number. I hope that example makes sense. Take a minute to let that sink in before you go into the next video where we'll show another example of how to create an overflow situation when using a batch send. As always, if you learn something in this video, hit the like button. And if you want to keep learning, hit the subscribe button. Catch you in the next video.